right, what is up guys? This is Ivan from BurningBiz.com. Uh, in uh, this video today, we're not going to do tutorials, more going to be uh, a little explanation on uh, the uh, potentiometer. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions as to which value should I use for my project. Uh, should I use a 10K, uh, 50K, 100K? And um, what we're going to talk about today is that if you use it directly with an Arduino, it doesn't make that much of a difference and we'll see, uh, we'll see why. And let me switch camera. I made a little test bench here and we have four different values of potentiometer. We have uh, a 10K, a 50K, a 100K and a 500K. And we'll see, we're going to run a little test and we'll see these values in the serial monitor and we'll see that they all behave the same. Uh, basically the Arduino, the way it does an analog read is that it converts the analog to a digital um, value from 0 to 1023, uh, 0 being 0 volts and 1023 being 5 volts. And all these guys basically that they all do the same thing. If you go all the way up or down, it'll read either 0 volts or 5 volts. Uh, 5 volts because we're actually using the 5 volt uh, pin on the Arduino. So let's cut here, let's look at the code. Code's very simple. And then we'll come back and we'll test each one of these at different positions and we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. So let's go check it out. Alright, so here's the code we're going to use today. It's very simple. I, um, I just want you guys to see uh, what's going to happen. Um, basically we're defining uh, four variables here that are connected to analog pins on the Arduino. So we got A0, A1, 2 and 3 which correspond to these variables here. And then we do the main setup, we just uh, start the serial monitor at a value of 9600 uh, baud's. Uh, when you open your serial monitor window, make sure that this value here is the same as in your serial monitor. So we'll see that when we do the testing. And then the main loop, very simple, we're printing uh, pot 10k equals to the analog read of the pin A0, which the 10k is connected to and then so on and so on. So 50k is connected to A1, 100k to A2, and so on. And then we wait down a millisecond and then it loops. So when we open serial monitor, we're going to see these values. So that's it. So let's up upload that to the Arduino and let's uh, go test it out. All right, so here we are. We plugged in the Uno. We uh, uploaded the code that we just saw uh, right over here. and we open the serial monitor. Now I'm just going to move the window so you can see here the uh, baud rate is set to the same thing that was set in the code which was 9600. So let me move that back. Alright, so as you can see here also all the pots are turned all the way to the left and if we look at the serial monitor window we're all getting zeros everywhere and a zero means that there's zero volt uh, going through the uh, signal pin the analog pin that we're using for each one of those. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn each one of these guys all the way, uh, not all the way, but halfway up and we'll see the values uh, what happens. So let me do that. So let me turn this guy half, turn this guy half, turn this guy half, and this guy half. And there you go. Now as you see, you know, if you look at the values, we're getting 508, 505, 509, 519, and they're all, you know, about halfway, all of them, and we're using different values, but as you can see in the serial monitors, the values are the same. Um, the reason for that basically is that uh, the way the analog to digital converter works on the, uh, the Uno, it will go from 0 to 1023 or 1023, 1023 being 5 volt and 0 being 0 volt. So if you put them halfway, it doesn't matter which uh, values the, uh, the pots are, they will register half their values. Uh, so that's why if you're using a, a pot with an Arduino, it doesn't make much of a difference which value it is. So if you're doing a project and you, have, uh, need, a, you need a pot and you have one on hand, you know, you could just try it and it, it will probably work if you use it that way with an Arduino. So now what I'm going to do also, I'm going to go all the way up on all of these. So let me go all the way up. There we go, they're all the way up. So they're, if you look at the serial window now, we're registering 1023 almost on all of them except pop uh, the uh, 50k. 
50k seems to be a little flaky so it doesn't go all the way up and doesn't let all the um, the voltage go uh, go through it so we're registering 1018 but it just proves that you know it doesn't really matter what the value pot you use uh, when you use it with an Arduino like this it's going to be converted from analog to digital uh, so um, the range will pretty much be the same thing uh, last thing I'm just going to go down all the way let's say on this one yeah, I'm on all of them let me go all the way down here there we go last one all right so they're all the way down now if you notice if I go all to the left then it's zero meaning zero volt but let's say I want to reverse that I want to go from five volt when it's all the way to the left to zero volt when it's all the way to the right well with a little pot like this it's easy uh, basically I have voltage and ground going from uh, the outer pins of the uh, of the pot so all I have to do is switch them around so what I'm going to do I'm going to switch the ground and the voltage on the first pot and there you go now it's registering 1023 and if I move it all the way to the right then it goes to zero so you know depending on which motion you want to do in your project you just need to reverse the ground and the voltage so that's it so let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up all right so there you go guys I hope this helps uh, some of you who are asking questions about which value should I use in my project. Um, if you use an Arduino, it doesn't make a big difference. Uh, of course, if you were using these in, a, let's say, a stereo or something like that that would control uh, bass, uh, bass, treble, uh, volume, then yeah, then it becomes more important. Uh, but for our uses, uh, most of them will work the same way. Uh, so there you go, guys, a quick video. Um, like I always say, if you're not subscribed to our channel and you like these videos, please subscribe and you'll get notified when we post new ones. And also I started saying, uh, you know, um, follow us on Facebook and Twitter uh, because it seems that sometimes uh, YouTube notifications, they don't work and people don't receive them. So if you don't want to miss a video, you can follow us uh, there also. And uh, also I invite you to uh, send us your uh, suggestions as to future projects or questions about uh, like little components like this and we will do a video on it. So until next time, my name is Ivan and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.